Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. This is my HTC Vive XR Elite headset. I purchased it recently, been having a lot of fun with it. As I said in my previous video, this is definitely the best headset that I have ever owned for VR. And in my last video, I explained how you could connect the XR Elite to your computer in order to enable PC VR wireless gaming. However, that method that I demonstrated is a little bit convoluted because it does involve using the HTC Business Streaming app, which must be installed manually on the headset, and there is a better solution. So this, I guess, is my updated tutorial for getting PC VR wireless streaming working here, and it is definitely the better solution because it is just far less involved. Now, the first thing you'll need to know is that you will need to make sure that Steam VR is downloaded. It's a free piece of software, only takes about five minutes, but you will want to get that done. And the computer itself will need to be connected to your home network via a LAN cable. Okay, the headset will connect to your network wirelessly, but the computer itself does need to be hardwired. And at a minimum, your network will need to be running Wi-Fi 5. However, Wi-Fi 6 or 6E is strongly recommended. You will also want to make sure that you are using the headset and streaming to the headset in the same room as your home network hardware, just to make sure that you are going to be getting the least amount of latency and the overall best connection. Now with Steam VR installed, the only other thing we need to do is install the free Vive Streaming Hub software, which can be downloaded from HTC and it takes about two minutes to download that and install it. Very easy to do. Once that's installed, I generally just left most of the settings at their default values. Ooh, one additional thing if your computer uses an NVIDIA graphics card, open up the NVIDIA control panel, select the Manage 3D Settings option, and then under the Global Settings tab, change Power Management Mode to Prefer Maximum Performance. So that's just one additional thing you need to take care of there. So with the Vive Streaming Hub software open, put your headset on, and from the home screen, you want to head down to settings and on the settings menu, look for connectivity. And on the connectivity tab, you want to select the computer connection. On the computer connection setting, you should see your PC, okay, with its IP address. Simply select that and you are going to enter pass-through mode automatically. On your computer monitor, you will see a large QR code. Simply look at the QR code with your headset so that the camera can detect it and that will complete the setup process for you. And now whenever you want to run any PC VR titles such as games from your Steam VR library, just make sure that the Vive Streaming Hub software is open and running on your computer. Turn on your headset controllers, make sure that for example Steam and Steam VR are open and then it should detect the headset. You should be good to go at that point. All you need to do when wearing the headset is head over to your library from the home screen and then on the library, go to the sorting option and select PC VR. This will bring up any games and software that you have installed on your computer and not natively on the headset. And folks, that is all there is to the process. Now, if you do have any issues such as latency or frame dropouts, just check your network connection. Make sure your computer has a good solid connection, again, via a LAN cable, and make sure that your headset is close to your router or network hardware. And if possible, ensure that you are using Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6E. However, I myself have connected to Wi-Fi 5 and it does work pretty well. So I hope this updated tutorial has helped you. The XR Elite, I think it's just a fantastic piece of hardware, really enjoying using it so far. The only downside is that the launch games and software available at the moment are a little bit weak in my opinion. There's not a whole lot to choose from, but hopefully that will improve in time. If you've enjoyed this video and if it's been helpful, please do drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for future content and I'll see you next time.